Are you wondering how to build an AI agent to create content that sounds like you? Well guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I built this custom GPT to create content that sounds exactly like me. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this below this video. But now let's get back on how you can create a custom GPT that sounds exactly like you. So the very first thing to mention is that I am subscribed to ChatGPT Plus as that is how you can create custom GPTs if you're on Plus, Teams, or Enterprise. If you're using the free version of ChatGPT, this tutorial will not work. And custom GPTs are one reason out of many why I recommend people invest $20 a month into this platform. So if you're subscribed to Plus or one of those premium options and you're following along, I'm gonna go through a step-by-step -step process on how you can create a custom GPT slash AI agent that sounds like you. So what you wanna do from the home screen here is on the top right, you wanna click your profile icon. Then you're gonna click My GPTs. And right here, you should see an option that says Create a GPT. You'll notice I've created a ton of different custom GPTs for various use cases. As you guys get more comfortable with creating these GPTs, I'd recommend you do the same but for now we're going to click create a GPT and your screen should look like this and I apologize guys in advance if I'm moving along very quickly that's what I tend to do so be sure to pause rewind do whatever you need to do so you can follow along at your own speed and so right here the very first thing that we're going to do is just give this a name I'd recommend giving it your name your company your brand whatever you're trying to mimic so I'm just going to do RD AI agent, those are my initials. I already have one created, so I'm just gonna use my initials in this example. And then for the description, this doesn't really matter too much. I'm gonna do uh, an AI agent acting to perform tasks that sound like me. And again, you can do whatever you want here. And then what you can also do is upload an image. You can use Dolly to generate one with AI. I'd recommend uploading like a logo or a headshot. Uh, that way the AI model better understands who you are and what you look like. Um, so then this is the important part here, the instructions. What is this GPT-2, how does it do, excuse me, how does it behave, what should it avoid doing? And so I have custom instructions actually saved here and I'll be sure to leave, a, leave these in the video description below so you guys can just access this and then replace what you need to replace. And so what you wanna do is you wanna do something like the following. You are an expert in insert industry or niche. Obviously for me, I'm in marketing, artificial intelligence. So I'm just gonna do, uh, let's do SEO and marketing for now. You can obviously put whatever industry or niche that you're in here, that's what you would do. And you'll say, you will be an agent acting as myself for various tasks related to, and then again here, I'm gonna do marketing and content creation. This is just my specific use case. In all of your outputs, please follow the provided instructions. Use the uploaded knowledge to mimic my writing style for all your responses. Use a writing tone that shows expertise, seriousness, and empathy. Write at an eighth grade reading level that's understandable to the average person. That's just something that I've found tends to work well with responses. And then here I have a bunch of words that I want it to avoid in its outputs. This is one of the really important points of creating custom GPTs is that you can provide these custom instructions to avoid all words that are typically used by AI models, right? These are some of my favorites, Dell, Vibrant, Realm, Embark, Robust, all these dumb words that are very, very easy to see that AI created them, we can now exclude them. And so right here, you'll notice my first point, use the uploaded knowledge. So this is the next step. We wanna upload knowledge to train this custom GPT on what we sound like, uh, maybe what our logo looks like, what our brand looks like, maybe give it writing samples, right? And so what I'm going to do is come down here, you'll see knowledge. This is where you can upload files to train the custom GPT. I would also recommend checking code interpreter and data analysis. Not a huge deal, I just suggest having all three of those checked. So what I'm going to do is upload files. And to prepare for this example, I actually had a bunch of files ready to go. I'm gonna sort by icons. And so here, let's see, I had, uh, where is it here? I had a, my LinkedIn profile. So I don't know if you guys are aware, you can actually download your LinkedIn profile as in a PDF format, and I'd recommend doing that. So I'm uploading that LinkedIn PDF of my profile to this custom GPT. I'm also going to upload a bio that I wrote. So anything that's 100% original content of you writing it, 
I would recommend uploading it here. And I'm also going to upload a list of words to avoid. So right here, I have about 50 to 100 different words in addition to what I said here of what I just want this AI agent or custom GPT to avoid in all of its outputs. I'm also gonna upload a headshot of myself. Uh, so let's see here, here's a headshot. That way, ChatGPT starts to understand what I look like. And again, maybe you have a logo of your company or just a logo of your personal brand that you want it to understand and know better. I'd recommend uploading that here. I'd recommend just uploading any relevant files of whether it's things that you've written that are 100% original, um, any bios that you have, a, a PDF of your LinkedIn profile, I'd highly recommend, things like that. And again, you can add a lot of different files here. I don't know what the limit is. I know it's not unlimited, but you can add a ton of different files. So the more, the better, where you can train this custom GPT on what you sound like. And here we have conversation starters. And I also have some of these ready to go as well. And again, this will change based on your use case and what you're trying to accomplish. But for me, I'm gonna just have a few conversation starters that read the following. Maybe these are relevant to what you guys are doing and I'll leave these in the description below so you can copy them as well. So I'm gonna insert all three of these here and then kind of explain what I did. So here's my three conversation starters. Again, you can add as many as you want here. It looks like, I guess you can add up to four, maybe five, it looks like, I'm not sure. Uh, but here I have, help me write an SEO optimized blog post when I provide the topic. So I, I use AI to write long form content a lot. Help me generate a YouTube script that sounds like me when I provide the topic and target keyword. I rely on AI tools like Claude and ChatGPT to help me with YouTube scripts. And obviously I want it to sound like me. Help me write a LinkedIn post when I provide the topic. This one's very important. What I did in this one, and this one's a pretty long conversation starter, I actually added a ton of info, essentially what are best practices for high performing LinkedIn content. You could do this for Twitter, X, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, insert social media platform, right? Basically giving it a conversation starter to help you write engaging content on LinkedIn, X, Twitter, uh, whatever the social media platform is to make sure the outputs are not only high quality, but also sound like you. Now this next step may be a little more advanced to some and you guys may be asking about down here. I did skip over a few settings like with action. So if I click create a new action, this is where you can add schema. You can do things with different API syncs on different platforms. This is a little over my head if I'm being honest. So I wouldn't recommend going down this rabbit hole unless you're a developer, you're building apps, things of that nature. I'm gonna click the back button. But what I would suggest doing next is I would click this create tab. And here it says, welcome back. Is there anything RD AI agent, which is the name of my custom GPT, should be doing better? Anything you'd like to change? And what I recommend you do here is upload transcriptions of any podcasts that you've been on, if you've recorded any videos of just you talking on the internet. That way you can train this model to the best of its abilities. So what I'm going to do is I have a podcast called the Marketing Quacks Podcast. Most of these episodes are interviews. So I actually did a solo episode and I'm going to take the transcript of that solo episode where it's just 100% me talking and I'm going to input that in the knowledge of my custom GPT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click hover over here. I'm going to click show transcript and I'm going to copy and paste this entire transcript of just me talking. So if I scroll down, copy the transcript, and I'm going to come back to my custom GPT and I'm going to say, I'm going to provide a transcript of myself talking on my podcast. Use this as a reference for how I sound in your outputs going forward. Again, training this model more and more. I'm going to come back here, make sure I copy this fully come back to my custom GPT. I'm going to click enter so I can just move on to the next thing. It says, got it. When you're ready, share the podcast transcript and I'm going to paste it all right here, click enter. And now it's probably gonna take a little time to update this custom GPT. It says, thank you for providing the podcast transcript. I'll use this as a foundational reference to match your speech style and future responses, natural voice. This will help ensure the enhance the consistency and authenticity of the content. So what I'm doing is I just train it. I, I'm sure you guys are following along by now. And what I could do honestly too, is if I search my name with podcasts, I've been on several other podcasts. So I could come in here and take the transcripts of all of the podcasts that I've been on and have that as more data to upload. The issue is in the interview style, it's hard to distinguish 
what's me versus what's the person asking the questions, right? So I'd rather just have it solo. That way it knows 100% that this is me talking. But again, you can come in here and upload anything that you want in this create tab. I'm just gonna do this one podcast transcript as an example. And then what you wanna do once that's done is you wanna click create in the top right corner. And here you can create anyone with a link. You can add it to the GPT store if you want, or you can only do it for yourself. I'm just gonna create anyone with a link and click save. And so here we go. You should see a message that says GPT published on top. Then you can click view GPT and here we go. Here is the custom GPT that I just made that tries to mimic myself and the best of my abilities. Now, if you wanna edit this in the future, simply come up here and click the drop down, click edit GPT and you can come into the create tab and just add more transcripts, add more things. If you click configure, you can upload more knowledge. If you have any updated articles that you've written or things of that nature, you can upload that here. So you can continue to fine tune this custom GPT. So now let's do a quick example and put this custom GPT to the test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this conversation starter I created about writing a LinkedIn post. And this might be relevant to a lot of you watching is how do you create LinkedIn content with AI that sounds like you? It's a very good question, right? So what I don't like is it automatically just started diving in uh, and started creating a post. I didn't give it a topic, so it didn't follow the instructions. So I'm going to say, please follow the instructions. I need to provide a topic first. And the reason I'm doing this is because going forward, now it should remember this and wait for your directions before it just goes right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, here is the topic. Is SEO dead in 2024, right? The most common question in the world of SEO right now, is SEO dead? This pops up every single year. So here we have the siren emojis as kind of the hook, is SEO dead in 2024? Uh, and she's dead, no longer can keep up. And so right here, what I like just reading this is it says, I've been deeply entrenched in digital marketing, leading SEO for websites, drawing over 500,000 competing against giants like Forbes, US News. I've seen SEO evolve, not die. That is something I would say. So what I like in this response of what it did is it looked at my knowledge where I talked about how I've competed against Forbes and US News in my previous SEO job experience, and it implemented that in this response. Now, is this perfect by any means? No, you're gonna have to fine tune this, make some tweaks. Maybe I don't like the emojis, maybe I don't like the hashtags, and just tell it to remember in the future, no hashtags, no emojis. Uh, maybe exclude certain words you don't want, maybe change certain sentences or different parts the way things sound. This is not a silver bullet, guys. This is a, a really good first draft that you can then use going forward for all types of LinkedIn content. Now, this is just one really quick example. You can write long form blog posts. You could write posts on any other social media platform, YouTube scripts, YouTube descriptions, right? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I just wanted to show you really quickly what this looks like for the first time. Now, I know I've only covered chat GPT and custom GPTs in this tutorial, but you can also create AI agents using Claude projects. I love Claude projects. I use these every day for various use cases. I do have a separate tutorial showing you step-by-step -step how to create a Claude project, so I'm not gonna show it in this video, but what you must know is you must be a member of Claude Pro in order to build projects. It does cost $20 a month, similar to chat GPT+. I like the interface here better. You'll see all the knowledge on the right hand side that I've uploaded here inside a Claude project. I just prefer Claude's models better than GPT's models, especially Claude 3.5 Sonnet. But I'll be sure to leave a link to this in the video description below if you want more information on Claude projects. So that's it, guys. I appreciate you if you've made it this far into the video, and I really hope that you found value on how you can build a custom GPT to create an AI agent that sounds just like you. Again, you can do the same thing with Claude. Be sure to look at that tutorial in the video description below. But again, my name is Ryan. If you found value here, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.